welcome back to my channel i know some of you guys have been interested in like veterinary content so yeah i wanted to share with you guys what i have in my backpack currently i'm doing the veterinary assistance program and it's a certificate program in toronto it's actually opened quite I wouldn't say recently, but it is a newer program. I think it w it opened around in 2016. So yeah, but let me show you guys what I have in my backpack. Um, so the first backpack I used for my first semester looks like this. I really didn't want a very big backpack simply because I don't want to carry it. Especially around these times. Um, I was only going to school once a week for the first semester. So um, I, w I wanted something that's very... You know slim fitted and uh, does that make any sense something small so this is what i use it is actually a very good backpack. i don't even know if the camera is picking it up it's a good backpack you just hang it um and i do believe they come in different colors it is a bit i wouldn't say expensive but like i don't think so a lot of people might want to go for this if, especially if you are gonna carry heavy textbooks the only one drawback i will say is that the sides are a bit um cornered in if that makes any sense so if you are going to put textbooks in it you are kind of limited i typically would put my ipad in this because my ipad is small so it worked well i actually used it um for the first semester all the way throughout but now that i am in my second semester it we'll see i don't think so. i'm going to be reaching out for it a whole lot but we'll see maybe for my tuesday classes because tuesday i go to school and it's only one class so this was the backpack i initially used i'll have a link down below for you guys i got it from amazon now uh the second backpack i used you could clearly tell it's a bit bigger now i've had this backpack not this one, but I've had the same Jansport backpack for like ages since like grade 10 and I am right now 26 years old and then about 3 years ago it actually broke, the zipper just kind of broke somehow and did I get a new fancy backpack? No, I paid another couple of bucks for the same exact backpack they come in different colors, different styles, I just stick to Jansport it's very simple, just has one one zipper i know some people like different compartments i don't care but yeah this is the backpack i use i don't know i could probably find it on amazon because i i got it from amazon so i'll share the link for you guys but let's get started so i'm just gonna actually um try throwing everything somewhere or like have it back inside because it's a bit hectic so the first thing i have oh my god it's so embarrassing it's clippers now i don't know okay <laughs> this is kind of embarrassing um i have this pet peeve i don't know i know a lot of females they don't have this but in the veterinary world or if you're a tech assistant or a vet you kind of know that you have to have your nails short but for me it's so annoying to have them remotely slightly long so i really genuinely don't like it so i have one of that don't question me it's a small one i use it just in case so I feel like I'm going to be judged for the stuff on my backpack. Now, I do have um, eye drops. I got PRK. Um, if I didn't have PRK, I and it's just laser surgery, similar to LASIK, um, I would probably have my contact solution and stuff because I'm not going to risk it. So, anyway, um, I use eye drops because they tend to be a bit dry for my... Like, my eyes get a bit dry. I have my Presto card, which is just something I use for TTC. Hand sanitizer um this is well people are gonna see the school i'm going to but did i tell you guys what school i'm going to just in case some people are gonna know my last name but it's fine i think some people already follow me on instagram but anyway there's only like one program in toronto that does veterinary assistance and veterinary tech or two veterinary assistance only one so you guys might be able to find out where i am please don't come and try finding me that's kind of crazy and scary. So I do have nail cream. Um, yeah, winter times my hand gets a bit dry. It's not crazy, but um, it does get a bit dry. And then a bunch of face masks. Um, this is embarrassing. So I did show you guys that with the nail croppers. I have my wallet. Oops. Um, I have my wallet. Nothing too fancy. This is, I think, real leather. But I had it as a gift and... Yeah, I wasn't going to throw it in the garbage. That's just wasteful. So, yeah, typically I don't reach for leather. That's just not something I do. I'm trying to see if I have anything. My medical bracelet. <laughs> I should be wearing that, actually. Oh, and then 
I have this. Now, obviously, most people watching this video are not people who wear hijab. But because I wear the hijabs, I have um, safety pins and stuff inside this. Just in case. I've had it happen a lot in high school where it would kind of just, like, somehow disappear off my head. Which is kind of alarming, but I have that. So, just in case, you know, I'll have that. And then, in the big compartment, I have this. Um... Oh, I should have showed you guys something else. Anyway, I have this. Now, I got this from Amazon. I don't know if you guys could see it well. Um, and it's a bit dusty. Um, I have this and then I, I think I bought like 20 bucks for the case. The reason is because I do have my books in here and I have heard people actually breaking their stethoscope. And as you guessed it, I have my stethoscope. That's such a hard word to kind of pronounce, no? Um, so here is that. It's black there's really nothing fancy about it um the the one thing i will say is i have an expensive stethoscope um it was kind of like a joke between my mother so she said that i am hard of hearing i am not but she said that as a joke in turkish it sounds a lot funnier and she said um let's get her an expensive one because she, she she's not going to be able to hear anything <laughs> Which, it has nothing... Anyway, that's just a weird inside joke that we have between each other. So she got me an expensive one. She got the cardiology one. Don't get that one. Um, I'm an, I'm only an assistant. I highly doubt, regardless if it's a very cheap or a very expensive stethoscope, I haven't actually used it. So I'm not going to be able to tell regardless. But um, yeah, I have that one. I mean... I wasn't going to return it just because she got me an expensive one. It is an expensive brand. Um, there are cheaper ones for like I think a hundred bucks. Uh, same ba brand. It's Lintman. I think that's how you pronounce it. But I'll have that down below. And then I'll have the one I suggest for you guys. Because that one's a lot cheaper. And it does the same exact thing. I don't know why she got such an expensive one. It's an inside joke. But she paid an extra $200 for an inside joke. And then I have a very... Uh, bad scrub i so basically in my school i have to wear black scrubs now i have this one because it was 10 bucks from walmart the reason is because my teacher said that it's just best to have extra scrubs um simply because if you know we're going to be working with animals if something gets on you and stuff and i'm gonna wear the pretty scrub the pretty black one or the one that i like to fit um typically and then just in case if something happens i have like a very ugly one <laughs> That's, i'm not gonna really link this just find one on amazon it's it's just simple just find one on Adam, amazon guys it's there's a real there's really good ones for 20 bucks 30 bucks um i wasn't gonna go for i think figs uh, i really like them but then i'm not gonna buy one um anytime soon no um this is a notebook i have i don't have my ipad <laughs> That's the one thing I don't have. I'm actually using it. That's probably why. Anyway, I have a notebook just in case my teacher wants me to have something written down. I typically use my iPad Pro, which I don't have here. Sorry about that, guys. But um, the reason why I have this is because we can't use electronics inside the class. So obviously, I can't really pull out my iPad Pro and then be like, I'm going to take notes. They're not going to really allow that. So um, I use this. The first semester, I just have some like... Um, calculations i think what were we doing with this we were doing pcvs and stuff so um i just have this it's a re really pretty book my sister got it from me it's istanbul i'm from turkey so istanbul someone's gonna be like don't pronounce it the, the english way it's istanbul in english and then istanbul in turkish pencil case this was from oh i remember the brand matt and that um and this one's actually vegan so or they use um, animal safe material so um, just a bunch of pens I actually do use these although I have an iPad Pro um, yeah and then it it just has like pens um, certain colored ones for highlighters I don't have a Sharpie pen I know a lot of people um, they like Sharpie pens um, I might just get one and then there's a lid I don't I don't really use pencils, a lot of us in the program will typically use pens, but I just have it just in case. Um, for certain microscope slides, um, pen doesn't work well, so yeah. And then I have a bunch of books, I'll show you guys the books I have. This one, um, which it literally has my school's name, so I'm not going to bother covering it. This is just a lab book I have, and then inside it, um, uh, we had homework, and so... 
you just kind of fill it out and so because this term we're working with animals basically what's going to happen is that it's kind of like your mini cheat sheet that they allow you to bring to school and they have like different restraints and stuff that you could quite literally it's your cheat sheet so you can look at it and um in the second term you also have homework assignments that you're gonna have to fill out not all of these are filled out so as you can see there are empty pages but i'm assuming our teachers are gonna make us fill it out but for certain restraints you could kind of cheat i'm gonna put this here because there's just a lot and then the other book i have that i use is animal restraint now i honestly um really like this book to be honest it's like by far one of my favorite ones it's really interesting they show step by step on how to restrain certain animals and then they have like um look at this how oh, sheep they're so cute anyway um this book is really nice i really like it it just shows different restraint methods and it's kind of interesting because it has rodents and large animals and I mean, I know how to restrain a bird, but, like, I don't know every other animal, so that's good. I'm just going to take this book just to make it easier. Um, and then the other book is, uh, the other book I have is Laboratory Procedures for Veterinary Technicians. I'm a veterinary assistant, but this book was required that we buy it. So I'm assuming the information, I could still use it as a veterinary tech if I do want to go in. Someone's going to ask me that again. I don't know 100% if I will go into the program before or if i want it and it just has like cool images look at that that's kind of cool and then let me see if i can find one more cool image that i could show you guys oh look at that that's so pretty i'm like the weird one who's like oh my god look at that that's really pretty i learn visually but like some people i mean there's different ways you could learn but i'm a very visual learner and i really like like the scientific um stuff i don't know it's it, it's pretty cool if you ask me so i i use this book but um not as much as the restraint one because the restraint has images i kind of feel like i mean it's a very simple book but i really like that one and then there's this um uh, the veterinary assistant textbook so assisting sorry and i actually like this one it's really nice it shows you how to kind of like prepare um different i think this one's for preparing surgical fields yes it is um so it just says that you have like different bones that you could look at um and it just shows you what bone is for what and then you could look at like different gum lines if that i mean some people might not know but like you could look at the gums of an animal and you know to be able to tell if they're anemic and stuff or kind of have like a rough idea and then there's like a heart cycle so yeah and then they kind of have like a kind of like the cycle in a written way i don't know how else would i explain it but there's that and yeah, so the only one thing that I'm not um, showing in this book, which I am waiting for, is one, um, I have my smartwatch, so when we are doing our respirations and stuff, the teacher did say that we can have a smartwatch, I have mine, when it comes to exams and stuff, I have to take it off, by the way, <laughs> you can't have it, apparently some people can cheat on it, and I'm like, how? <laughs> But um, I do take it off, but like while we're doing like respiratory stuff or calculating pulses and stuff, you could use, a, uh, use your stopwatch. Also, um, calculator. Now, I don't have my scientific calculator here, but it is humongous. And um, from my understanding is that when you are doing certain calculations, especially at the veterinary assistance, you don't really need a big one. I have that big one, not because my teacher requested it. I actually took... Um, uh, organic chemistry and I took um, algebra advanced algebra so I had it from those classes and I was using it so I did actually order mini ones you could actually put it on your scrub I'll probably have images of them um, if you are on a budget you could do AliExpress or you could have them Amazon too or go to the dollar store they have like the mini ones I would suggest that in my program I am not allowed to use my cell phone so I can't actually take out my cell phone and start using the calculator they don't allow it so that's why I, um, I didn't show it to you guys right now but um, you might need a calculator um, so yeah there's that I hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you for watching guys bye bye